Hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Aisha loves makeup. Guys, I am super excited for this video today. If you guys did not know already, in which I'm sure you probably already heard of this, unless you live under a rock, I'm sure you guys all heard about the new latest trend on TikTok. And if you haven't heard about it, I'm here to tell you guys about the Arabian perfumes and oils. That is all I have been seeing on my TikTok lately. When I wake up, when I go to sleep, when I'm taking a break and I'm just trying to scroll through my TikTok, I'm seeing, oh my gosh, this perfume is so great. This Arabian oil is so great. It smells so delicious. I had to go and, you know, buy some of these perfumes. I mean, you guys know I love perfumes. My next video is going to be an updated fragrance collection for you guys because um, I didn't realize that I acquired so much more fragrances since my video I posted two years ago. So stay tuned for the next video if you guys want to be nosy and see my whole collection. But nevertheless, if you guys want to know the top 10 fragrances that I got from the Arabian collections from the oils to the perfumes if you guys want to know the top tens that i got from tiktok then you guys already know what to do just keep on channel welcome my name is Aisha I film all things beauty related I love makeup I love skincare I love fragrances I love hair products I love being super girly I love pink if you love any of those things that I just mentioned subscribe to your girl show me some love subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload another video also make sure you um press that notification bell so you guys can see my updated fragrance collection that I um, will be uploading next video. So quick little update, quick little update for all my subscribers really quick before I get into the video. I know you guys are excited and you want to know all the viral TikTok fragrances that I bought and I'm excited. I want to share them with you, um, but I just want to do a quick update. All right, quick update. Guess what, guys? Oh, my beauty room is finally complete. It's finally complete. -e -e. So what that means is I will be showing you guys my beauty room finally. I don't know if it's going to be like in sections. Maybe I'll show like the whole beauty room first and then I'll go into like my Alex drawers and I'll go into my, um, what is the name? The Ikea pack straw. Like I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. But I have a lot of stuff. I am a makeup junkie. You guys know I was subscribed to practically every subscription box that is out there. So you guys know I have a lot of stuff on top of me always buying stuff. Because you guys see my old Sephora hauls, which I do practically every week. So you guys know I have a lot of stuff. So I have to figure out how I want to do that, if I'm going to do a series. But I'm going to just start off showing my fragrance collection. And then I'll go into, you know everything as we go along but just want to give you that update another big update I finally am able to do my nails again because I'm not Bob the building it felt so weird to not have nails for like two months while I was Bob the building and get in my beauty room all together and um everything is still in the same room but I took a lot of fixtures down added new fixtures so super excited to share all that with you so like I said make sure you subscribe to my channel so you guys can watch all of my collection videos, all of my collection video series coming up in the near future. Alrighty, so let's get into the video. Alright, so I will say I've had these fragrances, I want to say like a week now, because I wanted to give like my honest opinion on them. And I just want everybody to be open-minded about my opinions on what I think about these fragrances. These are my opinions, remember mine. Not yours. Everybody's entitled to like what they like because I've done a lot of fragrance videos on my channel and I feel like 
a lot of people get offended when you don't like a fragrance they like. Like, I had a video about my honest thoughts on uh, the fragrance that Rihanna wears, Love Don't Be Shy. And it got good uh, feedback, but then some people were just negative and nasty. Like, oh, clearly you don't have any scent and perfume taste because you don't like... And it's like... I'm entitled to like what I like. Everybody has different noses, things smell different on different body chemistry. I'm not knocking any fragrance because what you like, I may not like. That's a whole irony of, of life. Like everybody's entitled to like what they want. This is my channel and I'm giving my honest opinion. If you don't want to hear my honest opinion, then there's that door. Don't let the door hit you on the way out because this is my channel and I'm going to give my honest review. Um, and I don't need people saying, oh, you know, you don't know nothing about fragrances. I'm pretty sure I do. I've been working in a beauty industry for a very long time. Check that Instagram, boo-boo. You'll see I have a long history paper trail of working in this beauty industry between makeup, skincare, fragrances, you name it. I've been in this industry for a very long time, so I know about fragrances. And beside that, I have a fragrance collection that's like over, I want to say at least like 80, 90 fragrances. So I think I know about fragrances. Nevertheless, I'm not here to prove to anyone um, about what I do and do not know. I'm just giving my honest opinion, but I didn't like the aggression I got from that past video I did, and I just need everybody to be friendly on the channel. This is a friendly family channel. Alrighty, so let's get into the video. Uh, let's get into the video. Uh. Alrighty, so um, I'm a little disappointed in myself because I think in like one day I ordered like six fragrances. Like it was literally like I came home and I had six fragrances all at once. But I didn't feel that bad because like most of them are like $20 and then two of them I think were like $30 each. So they were all under $30. So it's not like usually you buy a fragrance and it's 100 and up. These were like $20, $30. So I didn't feel that bad. But nevertheless, uh, it still was a lot of fragrances that I bought. So, um, let's talk about the most viral, viral one that out of the collection of the ones that I bought. There's two that I feel like are very, very viral, but, uh, the one that was the most popular was this one right here. And, uh, these are Arabian perfume oils. So you're supposed to be able to wear these on your pressure points, and it's supposed to smell all day, the most pungent. You're supposed to be able to wear these under your fragrances that you already own, which I did do to see if they last longer. I'm going to tell you the notes about each and every single one really quick. So I put them on my phone, so we're going to go through each and every one. But these are from the uh, collection, Swiss Arabian Collection. And these collections have been around since 1974. So we're going to go through all of the scents. So I have, uh, like, I bought all of them because I have no self-composure. Look at this, guys. Look at this. I bought them all. I bought them all. They These come, there's only four of them. And your girl got all four because you know, you know, your girl got no self-composure. I had to get them all to get my honest opinion and see which one smelled the best. Out of all four, I would say these two are my top two scents because they're like very like fruity and girly. I like fruity florals. I'm not one for like musky scents. I don't like anything that smells not to say that musky scents are manly because the girls can wear musky scents too, but for me, I associate musky more with a, a manly scent. For me, my opinion, remember my opinion. But like I said, girls can wear musky scents too. There's a lot of fragrances that have musky scents, but I just don't like them in my personal fragrance collection. I try my best to just stick to the fruity florals. My preference. All right? Don't come for your girl. Do not come. If you want to come, I'm going to come too. Let me stop. Just joking. Just joking. All right. So the most favorite one I, that everyone said that they loved was this bottle, right? Her. And it says that it's a coconut and hibiscus scent. It says opens with the finest papaya, uplifting lemon, and it has a deep renaissance of peach and rose. So let's revisit this scent together. So when you do it, they're not sprays. These are Arabian oils. 
So you take it, it's like a little dabber. You put them on your pressure points, on your your neck, you know. Ooh. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Ex your excuse, ma'am. Wow, 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 wow. I can see how this one, you know, is the most liked. This one is my favorite out of all of them. I love a fruity frollo. Now, let's see if I can smell all the notes here. So they said we have coconut and hibiscus. I'm not really getting a coconut. I smell the papaya. I smell the peach. I smell the rolls. I'm not really smelling the coconut, but nevertheless, I do smell like all of that fruity floral. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, this is a 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend 10 out of 10. Right here. All right, next one. So this one is called Le, Le Ali Rouge from the Swiss Arabian collection. Now, also, a lot of people were saying, like, these fragrances, oh my gosh, they're so cheap, they're not expensive. But when I got them, I didn't realize at first that these are only 15 ml. Or give or take, they are oil, so nobody's probably going to have a 100 ml oil, because that may be a tad much. But they're only 15 ml, so I think for 15 ml, $20 sounds like a fair price. So... And it's not like a perfume that you spray. So I think that's a fair price. But they never met, really mentioned that it's like not, it's not a lot. This is not a lot. 15 ml, I could use that very fast. So just keep that in mind when you're buying the fragrances. You're not paying like, you know, $20 for like a 100 ml bottle. Although the packaging is so big and luxurious, you would think you were getting a big size. But love, 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 love. It says, um... Leali Rouge on the bottle, and it says Swiss Arabian on here. So, super excited for the first scent. Now, I'm going to have to go fast because I got a lot of fragrances to show you guys. And um, I bought them all, so you didn't have to buy it, duh. Like, I'm here to test it out, so you guys don't got to spend your coin. I'm spending a coin for you. So, anyway, nevertheless, the next one that your girl loves that smells fruity and floral is you Ali? So you got Lay Ali. Now we got you Ali. This is another Swiss Arabian sand. It's 15 ml and it says it's a concentrated perfume oil. Alrighty. So let's see the notes for this one. This one is a magnolia. It says deep renaissance of magnolia and jasmine. It says opens with the finest notes of bergamot and uplifting tangerine. It has sandalwood and musk evokes, evokes a warm softness. Now, I do not smell the musk in this. Remember I told you I do not like musk scents, but I didn't really smell it in here for me, my personal opinion, so I, I do like this one. Let me get a whiff and see what I, I think of it. Let's see here. Okay, we see we we see you, ma'am. We see you loud and clear. She is giving you, you know what this reminds me of? She is giving you Lancome Lavia Estabel. <laughs> I swear. So Lancome Lavia Estabel is weird because it's it's very rosy, you know, but it does have a little musk, and I don't like musk. This, now that I think about it, I, I guess I did lie. I do smell a little of that that musk in it, but it's it's like a flowery musk. It's not like that musk musk. That don't even really make any sense. Did that make any sense? It don't make no sense. I get it, but you guys probably won't get it. I'm not good at explaining like how the scents smell, but you get what I'm saying. But if I could describe it for me, my personal opinion, I would layer this perfume with my Lancome La Via Estabelle perfume. Smells very nice. Very nice. And look at the bottles, guys. She is cute. This is cute just for the vanity. She cute for the vanity. So these two are my favorite. We have the red one. This one looks like a hot pink one. So these two are my faves. Then we got 
these. We got a blue one and a pink one. So I really love, really wanted to love the pink one because you guys know pink's my favorite color. I mean, this one, from what I can recall, had like a pottery scent, but there was something in here that was giving me grandma. But in both of these was something in these two to giving me grandma. So let's go over the notes. But guys, let's take a minute for the packaging. Oh. So I want to say, that was this like the original one out of the four? I want to say the packaging for these two are different because they are written in Arabic. But I'm guessing they say uh, one size says Swiss Arabian and the other side says the scent that they are. This one is called Le Ali. This is called Amali. I hope I'm saying these names right. Don't come for me if I'm saying them wrong. I'm just, you know, I apologize in advance, but I'm trying to say them best that I can. All righty, so. Why sometimes when I'm talking, I have an accent? I don't even know why. That's very weird. But nevertheless, when I bought this, I was like, oh, I like these scents. Because it says, opens with a the finest notes of pineapple and uplifting lemon. It says it has cedar wood and vanilla. Evokes sweet balsamic undertones. It has a deep renaissance of jasmine and rose. Which, I mean, seems like the fragrances that... I like, I don't know if I like cedar wood, but everything else seems like what I like. But let me, let me smell it again. Let's revisit it. And I'll tell you what I think about it now again. She's giving me powdery. She is giving me powdery. So I would layer this with my, I would say my um, Cara, Carolina Herrera fragrances. Because I feel like they all smell kind of powdery for the most scent. I don't have the red one, but I have the others from that line, and they all smell powdery. So I feel like I would kind of layer those with that. She's giving me, she's giving me modern grandma. She's giving you a grandma that she, you know, she's probably 80 or 90, but, you know, she could probably pass for like 40, 50, because she's, she's a hip grandma. She, you know, she's hip. Cause she she cute she cute I would wear this I would wear this um I for me the main notes I smell is like that like a powdery scent to me that's what she gives me when I sniff it that's what I that's what I smell um I guess the scent that I'm smelling is a jasmine and a rose for the most part and I like it I really do like it so I would say maybe these are my top three I I I would say the blue one. She wasn't here for it. She was not. She wasn't here for it. So let me smell it. Let's see what I, it smells like before I look at the notes now. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like her. She's giving me... She's giving me fresh, queen, clean, aquatic kind of... I don't know. I don't know. Not really my type of scent. Now, let's see what they explain this as. They say, Oud and Amber evokes rich nausea, what? No, nuisance, ranging from sweet to earthy. Yes, I smell the earthy, definitely do. Consists of yelengaling and rose. I do smell the rose in this. Opens with the finest notes of black currant and uplifting orange flower. Let me smell this again. I don't know if I smell any orange flower in this. I don't know. We, she's not here for this. I, I I wasn't really here for her. Maybe if you mix and match them, but I wasn't really here for her. She is called Le Ali. And, uh, yeah. These are the... All of them are TikTok, guys. All... And the videos. The videos that you... This is why I bought the fragrances. And I'm not even exaggerating. Oh! Oh my goodness, you gotta have this fragrance. If you don't got this, you gotta get it now. Go walk, run, get there now. You need this for, oh, it's, a, oh my God, it's amazing. The best thing I ever smell. Oh my God, I never smell anything as good as like. They got me. They had me at Don't Walk, Run. So I had to get them. And 
I don't know what it is. Like, it's just like, I guess, fear of missing out. And then it was like a rabbit hole. I was just like going down this rabbit hole of, you know, Googling uh, and looking up Arabian perfume oils, perfumes. And it was like, oh, they're the best. You know, Arabian perfumes make the best perfumes, the best oils. And before you know it, I mean, I'm looking, I got eight, nine, ten, you know, perfumes that I bought. So, uh... Maybe you guys can learn from me, so that way you guys don't have to spend it. So hopefully I can help you guys out. So the next one I got here, she cute. She is, she's cute. Her name is Jamila. Her name is Jamila. Uh, I was not here from, I wasn't here for her. I was not here for Jamila. Jamila, I'm not here for you. Uh, she was giving me grandma as well. And not to say that it does not, you know, smell like a grandma is a bad thing, okay? I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge, you know. But for me, uh, it just reminds me of a grandma. So that's just my personal opinion. Don't come for your girl. Um, so let's see what Jamila, so, uh, Jamila smells like now. So Jamila is supposed to be a deep renaissance of jasmine and magnolia rolls. It says it opens with the note, uh, the finest notes of apple and marmalade and uplifting tangerine. It has a musk and amber evoke creamy, distinctive florals. So I definitely smell the, the musk and the amber definitely is what I smell in here because I ain't smell no apple. I ain't spend no, you know, I think people was looking at the notes and saying like what the notes were, but that's not what you smell. Like, let me smell it real quick for you one time. I'm smelling the musk and the amber, like, I guess you could say there's apple in here, but I mean, I don't know. It's very, it got, it, some of it dropped out. Now I'm going to be smelling like grandma all day. I don't know. I don't know. And I've wore all of these and I feel like they personally do not last. Like they say, you know, Arabian oils, like they stay last. For me, my personal opinion maybe a couple of hours but it, it mean it wasn't lasting all day like you know when i spray like my creed fragrances or like my chanel fragrances like, i wish chanel oh fresh i get compliments all day my coco mademoiselle compliments all day like you know my tom ford compliments all day like these are scents i feel like people smell all like these I think, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion, I have to keep saying my personal opinion because people who get mad for your opinion on your channel, but it's just my opinion. And uh, yeah, just had to reiterate that one more time. My opinion. My opinion, I felt like these didn't last. Like everybody was like, oh, people smelt it on me all day. That wasn't the case for me. That was not the case just for me. I'm sorry. Maybe with my body chemistry, they don't last long on me all day, you know? I have no reason to lie to you guys. I'm just giving my honest opinion. But they didn't really last on me. They really didn't. So, uh, and when I wore all of them, for the most part, I really didn't get any compliments or nobody was like, people were like, oh, you're going to get stopped and... Maybe they just didn't work on my body chemistry. They didn't really work. Only one of them that I wore that uh, a couple of people said, oh my gosh, you smell good, which I'm going to get into that one next. But these are all from, like I said, that, uh, what is it called? The Arabian, uh, la, 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 Swiss Arabian collection, which you could see because they all kind of like look like the same type of packaging. So, ooh, look at this in a viewfinder. Look at Aisha. Okay. Yeah, I love my fragrances, and I love trying new stuff. So I have all the boxes here. I took everything out the boxes. I should have showed you guys what the boxes look like. So for all of those bottles, like Jamila came in a box like this. This is how the box came. Uh, Uali came in a box like this, just in case if you buy it. Because I saw they were saying that, like... So by the way, I didn't mention these are on Amazon, but I heard that some people were... You know, they were selling fakes on Amazon, so make sure, it, because they didn't come with the box, make sure they come with the box. That's the box for this one. Uh, this one is this box right here. Let's see, Leali, I believe that's this one here. Uh, this box, I believe, is, which one is this one? I don't know. I do not know. I, 
these are the boxes for the Swiss Arabian. So the ones with the flowers, look how cute they all have like little flower things on them. So that's a lot. And uh, let's get into the other ones. So this one was another viral, viral uh, favorite. This is called Delilah Por Them. And let me tell you uh, a little bit about that one. So they were saying this one is a dupe for the Delina by De Marley. So, and this is called the Lila Parfum. I've never owned Delina by Parfums De Marley. That's what it says on here. That's a dupe for it. I've never had it, so I don't know what that smells, but everybody said it smells amazing. So, and I heard that fragrance is very expensive. So it was nice to try the dupe and see like what it smelled like, because they said this is a great scent. So, she is sweet. She is sweet. This, was this the one that I got? No, it wasn't this one. It was Yari, the one. This is the one that I wore and I got a lot of compliments. They said you could wear these two together. So, we'll go over this one next. Uh, she's cute. She is very clean and fresh. Uh, she's giving you feminine. I like it. Like I said, I have never smelled that Delina, the, any of the Delina fragrances, but they said this was a dupe. For that one, um, I'll put it up on the screen, Delina, they more like this one, and I've never smelled it. But they said it smells like it. A lot of people, I watch a lot of videos, and they all said they smelled like it. So, um, I liked it. She, she's sweet but fresh. Sweet but fresh. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. I liked it. I did like it. And I love that the bottle is pink, pink and silver. She's very heavy. So, I'm here for it. The next one, uh, which they said it smelled like a pinkity, drinkity, like the coconutty pink, you know, type of drink. I didn't get that, but she's cute. She's now for me, don't hate me now. She's giving me a bougie pink sugar. It smells like pink sugar to me. You know, I'm just saying I have a lot of fragrances and I'm just saying what it smells like to me. I'm not saying it's exactly 110 percent the fragrance now, but I'm saying this is what it reminds me. It reminds me of my pink sugar fragrance. Maybe not exactly the same, but that's what it reminds me of. She's cute, though. I like her. And they say you should mix these two together. I love the package. And these two are heavy. Like this will give you a little workout lifting these two right here. So, um, I'm here for it. I am here for these two. Yari Latafa. So, I'm here for it. I definitely, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. These two are my favorite out of these two. Out of the ones that I'm showing you guys now. Now, I love also clean, fresh fragrances. This one is called, uh, oh, actually, let me show you the boxes. So this is the box for this. I just took everything out the boxes for time uh, purposes, but that's the box for this. Okay. And then uh, this is the box for, this came in this box here. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And it says this is an Eau de Parfum 3.4 ounce. And this is also an Eau de Parfum 3.4 ounce. I didn't think they stayed on long on me to tell you the truth. They stayed on a couple of hours. Like, nothing to me, in my honest opinion, stayed on long out of these. But that's just my personal opinion on me. Maybe on my, with my skin, they just don't last. They did not last. I have no reason to lie and say it didn't stay on. If it did, I'll tell you, you know. But they didn't really last for me. All right, now we're going to go uh, back to this, and they said this is a natural spray. It's a 35 ml. They said this is supposed to smell very clean, like you just got out the shower, very clean, soft musk. Um, I didn't get that. I wasn't here for her at all. I was not here for her. Um, I definitely smell the musk, but I, I wasn't here for her. She She was not working for me. And my chemistry at all. I wasn't here for her. But, you know, I got to give it to them. Their packagings are all very cute. Very, they, you know, they all crafty packagings over here. My favorite are these packaging here. All the Swiss Arabians packaging. I have to see if they have more fragrances. Because I love uh, how their fragrances look. Like, these are going to look so cute. 
add it onto my fingers collection. Let me know if you guys fell down that rabbit hole of Arabian perfume and um, oils. So I'm going to give my final thoughts on all of the fragrances I bought. I bought a lot. Like, Jesus, I, your girl bought a lot. Look at this. Look look at, would you look at it? Just look. Look, look, look at this, guys. Look, come on now. Look at it. Just look at it. Like, come, where, where am I going with all of these? And if you saw my fragrance collection that I posted, you guys know I have a lot of fragrances. So your girl had no business, no business buying these fragrances. But I had to. I had to do it. I had to. See, you're missing out. And I mean, the way them girls, I don't know if they got paid, but the way them girls was advertising, I had to get it. But nevertheless, um, final thoughts and opinions. Okay. I would say um, I didn't think they were anything spectacular, in my opinion. My opinion only. Um, they were nice, you know. I, I, I got all the viral ones, and, you know, they, they were okay. But for me, um, I've, I've had better uh, perfume oils that last longer. The scents didn't really last on me, you know. I definitely will layer the oils with my perfumes to make them last better. But nothing here uh, was like how the videos I was watching when they were like, oh my, oh, like falling out the chair. And it, it was it was nothing like that for me, for me. Maybe I'm not that impressed because I do have an extensive extensive huge perfume collection and i have from expensive to cheap like i have it all i have it all and not to brag but it's just like i love i'm a collector you guys notice already I, I collect makeup i collect perfume so i have a lot of high end and i have a lot of low end and i have a little middle uh of course you know for me i was i wasn't really impressed by it you know not to say that you know they're not good they they were okay they were just okay to me and that's just my, like I said, my opinion. I don't know. I think I said that like 10 times just to get the point across is my opinion because in previous fragrance collection videos, nobody wanted to hear your girl's opinion. They they would get the animosity. For my opinion, would you believe that? You can't even have your, I thought this was, you know, America, freedom of speech. What happened to my freedom of speech over here? Nevertheless, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's an Arabian perfume that you think I should have. Remember, I don't like musky, woodsy, ambery. I like fruity florals. If you do have a fruity floral that you suggest that I get, put it down in the comments below and I'll buy it and try it. You know, I'm all here for trying, you know? So anyway, I am done with my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be showing you my huge, massive fragrance collection, the updated version. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.